I'm not asking for a name and a leg, nah, I'm just asking for some respect, respect. See, some say that respect is earned, but I tell you why that's something that I reject. Her. Cause if you come to me with anything else, then you're out like the tide that the sea get out. So don't be surprised, I don't mess with you when you're left out sitting in regret. Uh. Respect. Yes, people, what's going on? Mr. Has in the building, and I'm next to the one and only Mr. Unorthodox. I'm still saying the Mr. Boy. Come on, Unorthodox fella. <laughs> Unorthodox Yo, fella. On? Now, listen, Unorthodox fella, welcome to the Hangover Gang. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for this one. I have heard a, a, couple, a couple of little bits from him, but I've got to be honest, he's not one. I like what he does, I've loved what he's do, done before. But yeah, I haven't really tapped into him, so this one's this one's definitely exciting for me mm. because yeah, from previous experience, I've enjoyed what he's done. But mm. yeah, I just never, I don't know why. I couldn't give you a reason why I haven't tapped into him. Well, an yeah. orthodox fella, you're about to really tap feel, into yeah. him. Tap into him. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Tom McDonald is a G. Nova Rock, Nova Rockefeller. Um, her, his, 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 his girl is a G like she does all of his videos and okay. uh, she's a rapper nice, as well nice. um, they're very they're, 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 they're independent they're, they're incredibly talented um, couple I will say quickly I do enjoy the, the couple of two or three songs that I've heard I do enjoy what he stands for like he sta you know he stands he has a pow he has a powerful message in mm. a lot of his stuff and he's very wire, he's very tapped in, and he he is very. When I talk about tapping, like he's very tapped in. You can tell he's very tapped in. He knows yeah. a lot. There you go. There you go. Well, this is end of the world. Tom McDonald featuring John Rich. Now I don't know who John Rich is. I, I hope you know. I, I just I don't, I don't know who he is, bruv. Do you know who John Rich is? Is that his actual name? Is he just a rich John? <laughs> Rich John, who knows? <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so I'll take that as a no then. So, yeah, I don't know who he is. An orthodox fella doesn't know who he is. So, we're about to find out who, who John Rich is as well. Let's get Exciting it. Time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hang over, gang. We're back. <laughs> I know the end is near, the television telling lies I know for sure the revolution won't be televised I know that we've been waiting patiently for better times We fell asleep and men are blind, can't recognize it's genocide Feel like the bomb about to drop out of the clouds Another virus going airborne, go hide inside your house Farmers watching crops die, they drying up with droughts Angry people forming crowds and trying to burn the cities down mm, Yeah man, he, he kicked it off, he, he started with it straight away, you know the world is going to end. He's talking about the coronavirus. He's talking about the, the drought that farmers are. Uh, yeah, that's the one I was about to reference. Yeah, yeah that are, under, are going through. And straight away, he's talking on that real stuff, you know, the stuff that you don't really get to hear too often, you know. Well, it's the stuff you don't hear on the news, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And there's that. a reason for that. Exactly well. that. Exactly that. All right, should we get. Hey, that's just propaganda. <laughs> That's a very good song, actually, with Tom McDonald and Dax. Yeah, no, that's. I think that's one of the ones I've heard. Ah, there you yeah, go. That's one of the ones I've heard. Because I like Dax. I like Dax. You yeah. introduced me to Dax. Yeah. All right, there you go. Let's keep going, man. Inside your house, farmers watching crops die, they drying up with droughts. Angry people forming crowds and trying to burn the cities down. This is Armageddon, martial law for our protection. I talked to God, but it's long distance and I lost reception. Forest fires and oil spills are the awful lessons. I'm just waiting for the devil to take over heaven. This is biblical, I swear it's in the Bible. We keep killing one another. And Sorry for that, bad mm. boy. I'm just waiting for the devil to take over. Like, come mm, on. Yeah, oh, that's, it, boy. that's crazy. That's mm. crazy. It ain't gonna happen though, mm -mm, bruv. Mm -mm. Devil would get a left hook and a <laughs> right hook. And then both of them at the same time. You get, you get, you get thrown out again like the Royal Rumble fam. <laughs> <laughs> For the devil to take over heaven This is biblical, I swear it's in the Bible We keep killing one another and we dying for survival We used to fight for peace, we put our flowers in their rifles Now we're about to be extinct, every man, woman, if and child If it's the end of the world, I will do better next time Oh yeah, I know it Yeah, I know it If it's the end of the world, I know that I have lived my life to the fullest Yeah, the fullest 
Okay, okay. Man well, got what alien do you, what? spaceships in there. This is right <laughs> up your street, and it country and rap. Hey, I'm telling this you, bro. This is you, bro. Con- that's that's what it's about, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon about what you said? Um, what, what do you reckon about the chorus here by uh, John Rich? I need to listen to the chorus again. I did hear it. But okay. I didn't really. All right, catch let's, a ton let's run it back. Monty, yeah. be quiet, bruv. Monty's the dog, by the way. <laughs> if it's the end of the world, I know that I have lived my life to the fullest. Yeah, the fullest. So that was halfway through the chorus, but he basically said, you know, I, if it's the end of the world, I've lived, I live my life yeah. to the fullest. He's achieved you know? what he wanted to achieve. Mm. He spread the messages he wants to spread. Stayed real. And, you know, obviously you lot, you lot have, have heard him. Hmm. And that's why you like him. That's why you follow him. That's why I can understand. You know, I can. And I mean, I do still want to listen to a few more tracks of his because hmm. I haven't listened or experienced it enough. Hmm. But this track's doing bits for me right now. I like this. I yeah. like this. Yeah. It's, right. It seems a bit more toned down than a couple of the other ones that I've heard. Is this normal? Is this. He, he, he's versatile, isn't he? Yeah. Does, he has done tracks like this. Um. And, and 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 this is like end of the world, so it's more thought provoking than it is. I'm gonna wrap your minds out of position. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I, I also feel this kind of track. You know, it's it's that kind of like it's that thought provoking stuff. You know, gets you to really like register things that are happening. And it's less about the flows, and it is more about the message. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, well, exactly, you know? exactly that. All right, let's go. We stood on top of mountains. We've been to space before We had our dogs and houses We dug up dinosaurs We built those bombs are dropping We fought in all their wars Now that the sky's falling What did we do it for? Okay, so very quickly That wasn't halfway through the chorus apparently um, I like I like how he, he picked up the pace on it as well Towards the end of that, that hook, you know? And then um, he br- and he's sort of like bringing talking about everything we did. Mm, what did we do it for? Exactly. You know, the end exactly. of existence. What did we actually do it for? Exactly. Come on. Now that the sky's falling, what did we do it for? Feels like the end is near. Our freedom's disappearing. People playing God, call it genetic engineering. The media misleading us and evils interfering. While the government we need became the power that we're fearing. Our billionaires are going to space. Don't blame them. Oh, he's saying a lot, boy. Yeah, yeah, what did you you said you liked that? I yeah? didn't fully catch the bar, but I did at the same time. It's again, it's a what I tend to do that. I hear the bar yeah. in the moment, no, no, but you I do need to reverse it to go. I, it was about I, engineering. I tell, you, I tell you what it was, bruv, and and I don't blame you at all because mm. what this is what Tom does, bruv. He says a sick bar and he follows it with a sick bar. So then so your last was, yeah. memory is his last sick yeah, bar. Yeah. But he said people playing God calling it genetic That's, engineering. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, very powerful, powerful mm. statement. You know. Um, and facts, and it is facts. You know, people are obviously doing that. Do you, you know, know, at the moment they're trying to create dino. Like for a while they've been doing it, and I've only read like paper talk mm-hmm. to put it. You know, I can't say that I know too much into it, but what? apparently they've actually created dinosaur eggs, isn't it? I swear, they're trying to bring dinosaurs back. They're yeah. trying to some, do Jurassic Park for real, or whatever. He's trying to bring, yeah, yeah. Bro, let There's me tell an you, island in in the world, isn't it, where they've got apparently they've got some like prototype dinosaurs or something or I don't know all I'm saying is I would go there bruv because I'm a dumbass like that I would go to Jurassic Park Live real life bruv yeah, I'll Park fight experience. a T-Rex <laughs> what are you saying bruv <laughs> come on disappearing people playing god call it genetic engineering the media misleading us and evils interfering while the government we need became the power that we're fearing our billionaires are going to space don't blame them for leaving birds are falling out the air fish washing up on our beaches this is end times humans got a deadline children were the future till we ruin them with headlines should we pass their bedtime but everyone's woke they told us chase a dollar that made everyone broke i feel like cryptocurrency is probably our last financial hope soon enough the government will leave your bank account froze judgment day is coming do you know, I just want to touch on something. I saw something the other day, um, what he just said about the government's meant to be meant to be who we can turn to, but yeah. you know they're the ones we're fearing or something along those lines. And it's it's it's, yeah. it's mad. It is mad because the government's meant to work for us, mm-hmm. but they know, we're we're meant to know everything on the government, mm. but we know f, f all, f and all. they know everything about us. Literally, you know? bro. It's literally that. Like, it's a case of like. The roles are completely reversed. Mm-hmm. You know, at first it was like a case of we we vote these people in mm-hmm. and all of this, and now the, the world has turned upside down, and it's like they know everything about us. We know yeah. nothing about them. We we know what's presented to us by yeah. the media. 
And yeah, exactly. Like, you that's know, the what BBC, we. All of this. I'm not, that's what know. we know. Is what we're mm. told. You know. Come on, bruv. Like cryptocurrency is probably our last financial hope. Soon enough, the government will leave your bank account froze. Judgment day is coming. You can run or you can stand and fight. Panic in the dark or lead rebellions by the candlelight. This ain't your granddaddy's planet Earth. It's black and white. The end is coming. I'll see y'all in the afterlife. Just that, just quickly, yeah. This ain't your granddaddy's planet Earth, yeah. Look, basically, the time has changed, bruv. The time has changed, and and even even from even from the the, the time of, of 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 grandparents to to the generation that we're we're living in today, um, yeah, the world has changed. You can you can see that they have told us that, and even though you know, for me personally, I've only got one grandparent still here, um, you know, even without them being here still, it's very clear to see the world has changed so much since they were you know this do age. Do you know I was talking to my dad earlier. Mm. Me and the old man caught up for a, a drink and a little talk. Mm. Just, just, just the one. Mm -hmm. Literally, <laughs> I don't even drink J two O. I had, but, um, <laughs> but no, we were talking, and he was saying like, even when he was a kid, he could go to the park, he could walk down the street, walk through town, go to the park, everything, and it was kind of like COVID times. Mm. You know, it was just like there was no one about, mm. or you know, not not no one about, but it was just it was peaceful. It mm. was just like there wasn't all this this rush of mad a load of like amount of cars and. You know, people going back and forth to work. It wasn't like that, mm. you know. And that's yeah. how quickly it's changed. My dad's like sixty. You mm -hmm. know, so it's not like it's changed over dec uh, over centuries. Yeah. You know, this is in decades. It's yeah, changed, man. Right? And and you know what? For me, it's kind of scary, actually. One but, thing yeah. it is scary, bruv. And one thing that I'm going to say, but I'm not going to talk on because if I talk on it, this is going to turn into a podcast, bruv. Is um <laughs> is um for me like something that's clearly changed is 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 relationships. You know, mm. from the past into into modern day. Mm. Mm. But like I said, if I expand on that, we'll be here for an extra forty minutes. Look out minutes. for that one. Yeah, look out for that, that will podcast come in the future. <laughs> come on, let's go. Billions by the candlelight. This ain't your granddaddy's planet Earth. It's black and white. The end is coming. I'll see y'all in the afterlife. It's the end of the world. I will do better next time. Oh yeah, I know it. Yeah, I know it. If it's the end of the world. Yeah, look, video by Nova Rockefeller mm. and Jared Pot on Jared Potter. Yeah, but Nova's Nova's sick, man. Nova is so talented. Um, anyway, so look, I need a bit of a power couple, yeah. Proper power couple. Yeah. Proper power couple. Not just a bit. Nah. <laughs> top chart topping power couple yeah, independently. Fair, fair play to them, um, so what I want to say first off the bat is I really like that song. I like the fact that he's talking on things again. Um, uh, that other people won't touch on really not really you know what i mean um i like this one because he has he does it he has done it before but um it was gentler it was gentler and i think that's because of the country singer coming in and 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 you know strumming the strings and obviously singing the way he was singing what i will say is that he pointed out something very very real bruv and that's like we we have, have our own selves to blame for for why the world is falling to pieces bruv we we have ourselves to blame, you know, the inventions that we've come up with, the amount of uh, things that we've abused, the, you know, e even the way that we treat the things that we have at our disposal from social media, from the internet, you know, it's, it's, 
is what it is, bruv. You know what I mean? Ultimately, and I like that Tom is, he's coming out and he's saying it. You know what I mean? He's, he's saying it, bruv, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's fire. That's fire, man. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. I actually kind of liked the, um, although it was a serious, like a serious song, but I wouldn't say it was like a, it had a, it had a, like a, it wasn't like he was going, he was really depressive and mm. it weren't like serious, serious, but it was serious as in the top so topics he was, you know, conversating about and mm. lyricizing about. But, um, I liked that he still had a bit of, tiny little bit of comedy in there. Yeah. Like, like with the mm. spaceship running away and from running the away and the guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. cowboy guy, like looking up like. No, definitely that. And know? I liked his outfit as well, bro. Yeah. Oh, his out outfit. Like, yeah, but he's, that's, that's kind of what he's about in it as well. Outfit he was has, lit. He has, he, you know, he has his funky hair and he has his, yeah, I like that. I like that about his persona. His funky hair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love that. Look at this. Look at this red, bruv. All red. And then and then um John Rich is up there in all in all black Ooh. man. Like no, nah, it was it was nice, man. It was it was nice. And and you've seen this video, right? Yeah? Look at all this, bruv. Independently done. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's ridiculous, it's, man. It is, it's brilliant. It's hugely talented. Um anyway, anyway, anyway. I've been Mr. Has. I've been an orthodox fella. If you enjoyed this reaction, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go and check out my brand new music video, Lionheart, <laughs> produced by Davigilante. Um, drop a good old comment and a like on that. Go on, go on, do it, do it. Why not? Why not? <laughs> and until next time, respect. <laughs> I'm not asking for a nam and a leg, nah, I'm just asking for some respect, respect. See, some say that respect is earned, but I tell you why that's something that I reject. Her. Cause if you come to me with anything else, then you're out like the tide that the sea get out. So don't be surprised, I don't mess with you when you're left out sitting in regret. Uh. Respect. Ah.